In this video presentation, we will discuss about the swine influenza, popularly known as swine flu. And later we will have a brief overview on equine influenza. This swine flu infection is one of the important notifiable disease, and also a zoonotic viral disease, affecting pigs, with the potential of creating a global pandemic. These are the notifiable diseases affecting pigs, listed by OIE. Swine influenza caused by H1N1 is also one of the notifiable diseases listed under classification. Arthomyxoviridae family, classified under the Baltimore Group 5. These are the genus under this family. Influenza virus type A, type B, type C, and Thogatovirus. Only influenza virus type A is known to infect animals and also infect humans and it can be zoonotic. Under the genus type A influenza virus, there are, avian influenza, swine influenza, equine influenza, and human influenza. Type B, and type C influenza virus, mostly infect humans, and typically cause mild disease. Unlike the other genus, which are transmitted by droplet, the Thogatovirus or Arbovirus, that is arthropod-borne virus, transmitted by ticks. Swine influenza. The other names for this viral infection are, Swine flu, hog flu, and pig flu. This infection is caused by the swine influenza virus, of the genus, type A influenza virus, a family, Orthomyxoviridae. This virus causes contagious respiratory infection, in pigs. This virus also infects avians, and humans. This infection is characterized by nasal discharges, fever, lethargy, difficult breathing, and depressed appetite in pigs. With low mortality rate, of 1 to 3 percentage. This virus can be transmitted from infected pigs to the humans, and causes infection in pig handlers. So this virus is having a public health concern with zoonotic potential. Depending upon the strain, and other factors, in human, this virus can infect without symptoms. Or it can cause common flu-like symptoms. The symptoms seems like common flu affecting humans, like, headache, fever, tiredness, joint aches, sore throat, coughing, and vomition are noticed. Virus morphology. The virus is highly pleomorphic. This virus possesses helical capsid, which encases segmented genome, and also covered with lipid envelope all around. This segmentation may lead to genetic reassortment. The entire virus is about 80 to 120 nanometer diameter. This lipid envelope is studded with two important proteins namely, the hemagglutinin, and neuraminidase. These two proteins are the immunodominant proteins, which play a major role in the antigenicity that is virus neutralizing antigens. For this infection, antiviral drugs are available, against neuraminidase, and M2 ion channel protein. Picture shown here is the electron microscope image of H1N1 influenza virus. Antigenic property. On contrast with the family paramyxoviridae viruses, the influenza virus, does not possess fusion protein. It possess only, hemagglutinin and the neuraminidase. Genomic organization. The genome is multipartite, that is segmented, single-stranded, and negative sense RNA. This segmented genome may result in genetic reassortment. The influenza type A virus possess, 8 segments. Type B virus possess, 8 segments. Type C virus, 7 segments. And Thogatovirus, 6 segments. So, our interest is on, influenza type A virus, which possess, 8 segments. These 8 segments, codes for 11 proteins, that is each segment codes for one or two proteins. Segment 4, and segment 6, which codes the hemagglutinin and the neuraminidase respectively. As we already discussed, these two proteins play a major role as, neutralizing antigenic determinants. Within hemagglutinin, there are 16 subtypes, named as H1 to H16. Similarly, within neuraminidase, there are 9 subtypes, named as N1 to N9. These are some of the strains causing swine influenza infection. H1N1, H1N2, and H3N2. As we already discussed, the segmented genome may result in genetic reassortment. That may lead to evolution of new virus. For example, if a pig is infected with three different virus species, that is human influenza virus, swine influenza, and avian influenza virus at same time. This pig act as mixing vessel for these viruses, may result in genetic reassortment. Due to reassortment of segments, that is genetic recombination, there may be evolution of new virus, that may be a hybrid of this three virus. This type of major change in the virus is called as antigenic shift. This happens due to reassortment of segments, that is genetic recombination, leads to evolution of new virus. 
2009 H1N1 flu. A pandemic influenza virus, which is a new virus, evolved as a hybrid of swine, avian, and human influenza strain, due to genetic reassortment in pigs and humans. Some of the influenza viruses have created pandemic in this world. These are the influenza pandemics listed as per the timeline. In 1918, 1920, Spanish flu, caused by H1N1 virus, in which 50 to 100 million human deaths were reported. In 1957, 1958, Asian flu, caused by H2N2 virus, in which 1 to 4 million human deaths were reported. In 1968, 1969, Hong Kong flu, caused by H3N2 virus, in which 1 to 4 million human deaths were reported. In 2009, 2010, H1N1 flu pandemic, in which 1.5 to 5.7 lakh human deaths were reported. Virus replication. The influenza virus enters the host by endocytosis. Following entry, genomes get released by endosomal acidification. This virus replicates in the nucleus. Here, each genome segment is negative sense RNA. So, they cannot translate, or be infectious on its own. So first they must transcribe, to the positive sense RNA, by an unusual phenomenon in the orthomics of virus, called as, cap snatching phenomenon. Then, this transcribed positive sense RNA, which are similar to mRNA, can be translated to viral proteins. On the other side, the negative sense viral RNA are transcribed for complementary strand, for the transcription of negative sense viral RNA. Later, this transcribed negative sense viral RNA, and the translated viral proteins, self-assembles to form virion. Following assembly, virion released through budding from the host membrane. In the process of budding from the host membrane, the virion acquires their lipid envelope around. Cap snatching phenomenon. The primary transcription involves an unusual phenomenon known as cap snatching. Here the virus, snatches the 5' methyl cap, from the cellular mRNA, by cleaving the 5' cap from the host mRNA by endonuclease activity. This snatched or cleaved 5' cap will be used, by the virus, as primer, for transcription of viral mRNA, that is mRNA synthesis. This synthesized mRNA will in turn, translate for the viral proteins. This type of unusual transcription, seen orthomics of virus, is called as, cap snatching phenomenon. Transmission. The nasal discharges, and the secretions from the infected pig, act as the principal source of this virus. This virus is having the portal of entry, through inhalation. The incubation is on an average of 1 to 3 days from the entry of virus. Pathogenesis. Following entry of virus through inhalation, the virus does its initial replication in the epithelium of the respiratory tract and intestinal tract, followed by viremia, and their next replication is at the visceral and lymphoid organs. Following secondary replication, the virus get distributed through the secondary viremia, with subsequent viral shedding through discharges, secretions and excretions. Clinical Manifestations As we already discussed, clinically this infection is characterized by coughing, sneezing, nasal discharge, fever, lethargy, difficult breathing and depressed appetite in pigs, with low mortality rate, of 1 to 3 percent. Diagnosis can be done in field level or in the laboratories. Field diagnosis. Based on clinical symptoms. And post-mortem findings, like lung lesions are observed. These lesions are not pathognomonic. Only identified by isolation, followed by laboratory test. Next. Laboratory diagnosis. For a lab diagnosis. Nasal swab and paired serum are collected from live animal. In dead animal, lung tissues are collected for diagnosis. The sample has to be sent for diagnosis at HSADL, ICAR, IVRI, High Security Animal Disease Laboratory, at Bhopal. This virus can be cultivated or isolated in lab by three ways. Number 1. Embryonated egg inoculation. 9 to 11 days old specific pathogen free, or specific antibody negative embryonated chicken eggs are used. For this allantoic route of inoculation method is done. Following inoculation and incubation, allantoic fluids are collected, and confirmed for the presence of influenza virus can be done by hemagglutination test, hemagglutination inhibition test, agar gel precipitation test, and by reverse transcriptase PCR. The second method of cultivation of this virus is cell culture system. Swine kidney cells, swine testicle cells, and swine lung epithelial cells can be used. These are some of the laboratory tests can be done for diagnosis of this virus. For antigen detection, 
Hemagglutination test. Hemagglutination inhibition test using swine influenza virus specific antiserum, Yaliza, reverse transcriptase PCR and DNA sequencing can be done. For antibody detection, hemagglutination inhibition test is done, using known specific swine influenza virus. Here, paired serum samples is used for confirmation of infection. Prevention and control. Prophylactic measures. In this, following measures is to be established, to prevent all types of viral diseases and communicable diseases in the pig farming. Like, proper feed and water supply. Proper carcass disposal. Pest control like, insects and mice control in pigsty. Avoidance of contact with with waterfowls and other birds of unknown health status birds. Control of human traffic, like employees should not have contact with outside animals. Control of vehicle traffic. Strict disinfection of equipment in the premises. During outbreak situations, measures like effective quarantines and movement controls should be followed. Vaccination using an activated vaccine. And thorough cleaning and disinfection of the premises are followed. Vaccination. For this, an activated trivalent influenza vaccines are available. This contains three inactivated vaccine viruses for the strain H1N1, H1N2, and H3N2. This inactivated vaccine is adjuvanted by emulsifying in mineral oil. This disease can cause infection in humans. Antiviral drugs are available against this virus, by targeting the, neuraminidase protein, and the M2 ion channel proteins. So antiviral drugs, if taken within two days of symptoms, may help. Drugs like, aceltamivir, zanamivir are used as the, neuraminidase inhibitors. And amantadine, romantadine are used as the, M2 ion channel blocker. With this we are coming to the end of swine influenza. Next infection under this genus. Equine influenza. The other names for this viral infection are. Horse flu. This infection is caused by the equine influenza virus, of the genus, type A influenza virus. This virus causes contagious respiratory infection, in horse. Characterized by pyrexia, harsh dry cough, and mucopurulent nasal discharge. Some of the strains causing equine influenza infection, are H7N7, and H3N8. With this we are at the end of the lecture. In next video presentation we will discuss on parvoviral enteritis in detail. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.